Well, same as last year, Computex 2025 is completely nuts with people everywhere. I've just arrived at the booth, so let's get started. Our Computex coverage is brought to you by MSI. Whether it's tech for your business, content creation or gaming, MSI has you covered with a wide range of products to meet your needs. Okay, we're at my favorite part of the MSI booth, the mini PC section. Here, we have the new Media Lake NUC coming in at 0.5 liters. It features up to an Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor. This marks a shift away from the U-series processors MSI has used previously. Thanks to a redesign of the QB, MSI was able to shrink the mini PC down further, which was also done to separate the different models. This Media Lake version is ready for release and should be on my desk for review very soon. Next, we have the larger Lunar Lake Cubinac coming in at 0.8 liters. This one has 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X on chip, so no upgradable memory there. It'll go all the way up to an Intel Core Ultra 9 288V and there's one M.2 Gen 5 NVMe slot for storage as opposed to two M.2 Gen 4 slots for the smaller Media Lake model known as the Cubinac A1 1UMG. Both minis feature dual 2.5 gigabit LAN, dual Thunderbolt 4 and the larger Lunar Lake NUC has a power button with a fingerprint sensor, a dedicated Microsoft Copilot button as well as a built-in speaker and digital microphone all very much targeted at the business user. Let's not forget the MSI PowerLink feature which allows the QB NUCs to be powered by compatible MSI monitors. And you can mount them on the back of monitors with a few options for turning them on and off. Based off of feedback from last year, there's been an upgrade to the fans used in the QB NUCs. The difference between the new MSI Frozer versus the previous fan was on display with ping pong balls. Reminds me of my trip to Thailand. What were we talking about again? All right, well, that was too fast. So let's check it out again in vertical mode. Nice. I'm looking forward to testing the cooling with the new fans as the claimed 20C drop in temps is a big deal. I've got one more interesting secret to share. Check out this. Another 0.8 litre QB Mini PC, except this time it's AMD Ryzen based. That's right, the much requested Team Red version of the QB NUC is going to be released soon as the QB Z AI8M. And while it wasn't shown on the show floor, the team brought it out and allowed me to unveil it for you right here. Yes, MSI is finally offering Ryzen based Mini PCs, and this one features the 8000 series up to the 8945HS. I'm so glad MSI is now offering an AMD option. Some of the cool features I've noticed with this one is additional USB ports and even an SD card slot. Very nice. All right, something a little bit different. This is the MSI Edge Expert. It's an AI personal supercomputer powered by Jensen. Yep, this is an NVIDIA powered personal AI supercomputer using NVIDIA's Blackwell GPU merged with a 20 core ARM CPU. There's 128 gigabytes of LPDDR5X on board with up to 1000 AI tops of performance. That's a lot more than any mini PC I've looked at. This is a very modern box using only USB-C, has a 10 gigabit network port and even supports QSFP 40 gigabit networking. Yep, a lot of really high-tech equipment here and will come with a price tag to match. So I was surprised to see some motherboards in the business section of the MSI booth. This is the Pro Series. Two different Z890 motherboards, ATX form factor, one featuring Back Connect and the other being a standard motherboard. Being Z890, they support Intel's Core Ultra Series 2 processors that are compatible with the LGA 1851 socket. And both motherboards include dual Thunderbolt 4, which isn't very common with the gamer boards, Wi-Fi, and PCIe Gen 5 storage support. These motherboards feature a very clean aesthetic with no RGB, and they're right up my alley. So those looking for a no-nonsense workstation or even a clean gaming build, MSI's Pro Series motherboards may be what you're looking for. Last year, we looked at the MSI Datamag, 
a safe magnetic portable SSD which maxed out at USB-C 20 gigabits per second. I like the data mag, but unless you had a 20 gigabit port, it would max out at just 10, even on the more common 40 gigabit USB-C ports. Well, now it's been updated to support the 40 gigabit per second transfer rate, which brings it up to around PCIe Gen 3 X4 speeds on the sequentials. It'll be available in 1, 2 or 4 terabyte flavors depending on the region and the nice aluminium heatsink design remains unchanged which is good as it worked well. I'm at the business monitor section and here's a regular monitor but this one's more interesting. It's an all-in-one featuring up to the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H. That's a pretty beasty mobile CPU in a relatively thin monitor. Of course it's AI focused with a camera some other cool features include 1440p resolution and 100Hz, an adjustable stand, wireless charging, Q2 compatible, Thunderbolt, and Windows Copilot. How exciting. MSI had three business PCs on display, the first one being the Pro DP180. This one is a larger 18-liter chassis, allowing for upgrades. It's powered by up to an Intel Core Ultra 7 265 and a GeForce RTX 5070. It comes with four DDR5 UDIM slots, a couple of M.2 SSD slots, including a Gen 5 X4 and a Gen 4 X4. If you need even more storage, it has space for a 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch storage drive. The Pro DP80 is much more compact, taking up only 8 liters of volume. It still supports up to the Core Ultra 7 265 CPU. The difference here is a drop on the GPU side to an RTX 3050 low profile graphics card and one less M.2 slot. Otherwise it's pretty similar to its big brother. Finally we have the Pro DP21, just a 2.3 liter compact case supporting up to the Intel Core i7 14700. This one comes with two DDR5 sodium memory slots, one M.2 storage and two trays for 2.5 inch SATA drives. It's a good range of PCs with three different sizes for three different usage cases. Here we have a 27 inch smart display, it's 4K and it works just like a TV with support for Google TV, Assistant and Cast. Inbuilt speakers and a remote are included as well as 65 watt USB Type-C power delivery for powering your devices. Jensen not included. The final item on display at the business section was the MSI Pro 27 inch monitor. It's an IPS display with a 100Hz refresh rate. The coolest feature being the 98 watts of USB Type-C power delivery and display along with a KVM switch. There's also a built in 1080p webcam as well as Gigabit LAN. That's the business side of MSI's booth covered. Stay tuned for the gaming side coming up soon.